Reverend Dan and the Dirty Catechism. That was a hell of a set. Thanks. Thank you. Um, we're, we're, we're happy to have you guys on for sessions uh, tonight. Um, could you get uh, first uh, tell us uh, how you guys formed and how long you've been playing music together? Yeah, um, so uh, me and Charlie, we met like 20 years ago. Uh, down at the uh, TikTok Lounge in Springfield. Okay, TikTok. Um, and it was <laughs> we used to, you know, our old bands, we used to play together. Um, and then those fell apart, and uh, I was looking for something new to do, so I called Charlie up, and I'm like, hey man, you know, we always talk about being in a band, let's, let's do it. So we started a group uh, initially called Spot On uh, with, you know, a different rhythm section. Um, it kind of evolved after that um, as. We lost our bass player, Cooper, uh, came in. He was another guy from back in the God. day in the TikTok. Um, and then... Uh, back in the beers? <laughs> <laughs> and a no, serious no, workout no, yeah, that he brought to the band, ball too. Ball yeah. We used to, like, just pretty much party before we played. Yeah. Like, in the rehearsal, and it's not that way anymore. Yeah, no, Coop, actually... Coop, Coop's the drill instructor. Yeah, uh, thank God. <laughs> and then... Um, we weren't getting a lot done. <laughs> about... <laughs> Four years ago, I think Four, we, uh, yeah, we picked up Drew right. here uh, when our drummer, our old drummer, decided he didn't want to do it anymore. So did we, it spontaneously combust like in Spinal Tap? Blammo. Don't ask impertinent questions. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, so he, uh, so yeah, so um, we've been together in this formation for about four years. Uh, we put out our first CD about three years ago, and uh, our, our our next one is imminent. That Could was, happen at any second. <laughs> What I really love about the overall sound, it's this nice, cool mix of like, uh, like R and B, uh, with like, like rock and roll and a little bit of blues thrown in too. I mean, uh, how, how did uh, really uh, your influences kind of uh, uh, make the music? So uh, I mean, I've got a tremendous record collection. I just want to put no, uh, um, you know, I'm uh, back in the day, um, I was. I was in punk band, but you know I liked other kinds of music. I studied jazz in college and stuff. Um, really was into um, coming up. I was into a lot of that um, mid '60s, late '60s garage rock stuff. Um, you know, I'm a child of the '80s, so that's in there too. Um, but when I write a song, it's really kind of almost like a folk song. And um, these guys here, we have really diverse musical backgrounds. Charlie's more of like a new wave kind of guy. Uh, we got the uh, the progressive twins over here. Uh, so uh, the prog twins. Yeah, they. Uh, you know, we really get. Um, you know, you know, I bring a song to a rehearsal. It's kind of like a. Danny's undressed really mannequin, skeleton. Yeah, yeah, it's a skeleton. skeleton. And yeah. yeah. Danny is the genius of the band. He writes Stop all it. our stuff. Stop but what he does Stop is, it. is let us add our own stuff. He brings in a bare bones, and by bare bones I mean a fully complete song with lyrics and everything. All the chord changes, and we just add what we think belongs in the song. Then Coop changes that completely, and we go in a completely different direction, <laughs> and it ends up being what it is? something like that. <laughs> So you mentioned you have an album uh, that's going to be releasing soon. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes. Yeah, no, yes. not that one. This <laughs> one. Um, so, yeah, we've got an EP coming out. It's called um, Tonight Alone, and mm -hmm. uh, we just played it in almost its entirety. Uh, so uh, we're just we're in the mix, the, the mix down phase at this point. Uh, everything's been recorded. We're just kind of yeah. putting in the, the, the finishing touches, and it sh should hopefully be out. Um, just in time for Christmas, for all of you out there who need uh, Christmas gifts for loved ones, it makes an excellent stocking stuffer. <laughs> Do you guys have any gigs coming up uh, late October into November? Uh, Whiskers is Saturday. Yeah, that's, that's, this will air. Yeah, this will air after, oh, after right. that. So if you've got a time machine, we're going to be playing Whiskers this past <laughs> this, this up. Oh, I forgot Saturday. TV. Yeah. Right. Um, no, we don't have anything coming up uh, that I can think of off the top of my head. But, you know, we're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Reverb Nation. You can go to our website, thedirtycatechism.com. It'll be all be updated on there. All right. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you, guys. Awesome. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.